Thousands of Israelis have taken to the streets to protest plans by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's new government that they say threaten democracy and freedoms. The protesters gathered in the city of Tel Aviv on Saturday after the most right-wing and religiously conservative government in the country's 74-year history was sworn in. It plans sweeping reforms from expanding illegal settlements in the occupied West Bank <clears throat> to weakening the power of the judiciary. Protesters brandished signs with slogans including democracy in danger and together against fascism and apartheid. Another banner read housing livelihood hope. Some protesters carried rainbow flags. They slammed Justice Minister Yurin Levin, who on Wednesday unveiled the government's long-promised overhaul of the judicial system that aims to weaken the country's Supreme Court. We are really afraid that our country is going to lose the democracy and we are going to a dictatorship just for the reasons of one person which want to get rid of the, his law trial, said Danny Simon, 77, a protester from Yevon, south of Tel Aviv. He was referring to Netanyahu who was indicted on corruption charges in 2021, allegations the Prime Minister has denied. Netanyahu has already served as Prime Minister longer than anyone in Israel history leading the country from 1996 to 99 and from 2009 to 2021. His new governments include a politician who late last year admitted to tax evasion as well as several far-right personalities such as one who once kept a portrait in his home of a man who massacred dozens of Palestinian worshippers. Protesters on Saturday also called for peace and coexistence between Jews and Palestinian residents of the country. We can see right now many laws being advocated for against LGBTQ, against Palestinians, against larger minorities in Israel, said Rula Daoud of standing together a grassroots movement of Palestinians and Jews. We are here to say loud and clear that all of us Arabs, Jews and different various communities inside of Israel demand peace, equality and justice.